Hello traders. So I did decide today to go ahead and close out this DJT uh, trade. Again, remember I entered this as a no lose trade. My thinking was that I was going to maybe try carrying this um, fairly close to expiration. But while this uh, had been trading at $49 fairly consistently for the past week, which of course is right smack in the center of my tent, uh, today it started taking off. It's starting to, to move up pretty rapidly. I know this doesn't look like a big bar there, but it actually is fairly sizable. It's going from about uh, $48 up to about $55. It's just that this thing moves so radically earlier uh, in its life. In fact, if I move this, maybe I move this to a 30 minute bar, we can see, you know, what, what that actually looks like here. Uh, you know, it's been trading sideways for days. Now all of a sudden it, it's ripping up pretty rapidly. So um, my thought process on this was if I were to just let this continue to go up, yeah, I had no risk in it, but yet right now I can shut this thing down for a decent profit. So that is what I went ahead and did. So this was the trade after the first adjustment. Again, this first adjustment being just thinning it out a little bit. I opened up uh, 10 of these when I did it. And I don't um, often make these trades live or, or share uh, live trades. The reason I did that in this specific case is because I was experimenting with whether or not I could actually get it done, whether or not I could get fills on both of these spreads that would in fact result in a no-lose trade. And I did get that done. So then I think it's also important that I show the process of getting out of it. And to get out of it, I simply, I can buy it back now as a butterfly. And um, so I just float that trade out there and just waited for it to get hit. And it did, in fact, get hit. Uh, close the trade out. And then this is the closed trade. I came in and I plugged in all of my, my prices. So this trade closed out at $1,300 profit, 21%. Again, there was no uh, downside risk in this trade when I entered it. Um, and I did have to enter it as two separate spreads. So again, at the time I got filled on one spread, I would have had a little, well, not a little bit, I would have had definitely directional risk if only one of these sides was filled. So it was important that I get both of them filled if I wanted a delta neutral, no risk butterfly. It was important that I got them filled both quickly. And of course, again, that's what I did. And this is $6 wide on both sides. And I ended up taking in, I believe it was $6.06 by the time I sold both of those spreads. Uh, again, therefore having zero downside risk in the trade. So um, just to, uh, because this thing was ripping up, um, I figured, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and, and shut it down here. Um, I did in fact open a new one. I'm, I'm not, I don't even feel the need to share it here. I used the exact same process and I opened it $6 wide and I, I opened it up again with the same zero risk I was able to get on that $6 wide spread by the time I sold the two uh, verticals, I was able to take in $6.15. Um, but I did do that at 49 when it was trading at 49 here this morning. So that, that trade is getting pressured too. But again, getting pressured is somewhat meaningless in that one because I'm really early in it. And again, there is no upside risk um, or no, no risk of loss in that trade on either side. So I just wanted to kind of close the loop on this one. It is now shut down. Uh, nice profit. That's it. Take care, everyone.